Now in this section we'll see uh, some of the basic uh, troubleshooting connectivity commands like most of the time if you want to verify the status of the interface we use this command show IP interface brief and when I give show IP interface brief mostly you'll see the status messages as up and up whenever you see up and up it means that the configuration is okay but if you don't see up and up there is some problem so let's try to understand what are the different kind of connectivity messages you will have on the routers and what are the different what might be the possible reason in case if I realize that there is some issues in that okay so take an example when I give show IP interface brief if I'm able to see the status as up and up the first one represents the physical connection and the second one represents the protocol protocol HDLC PPP will be getting into that more in detail in our next section so whenever you see all both the status as up and up it confirms that connectivity is fine and most likely it's it's working fine that's what you can see in my lab if you remember I'm going to continue with my two routers configuration if I give show IP interface brief I can see the status of my interfaces which I configured in the previous lab you can see the interface status is up and up now we don't need to worry about the other interfaces because these other interfaces I'm not using in my connection. If you see, I'm just using S0 by 0 and F0 by 0 and right now both the interfaces are up as per my requirement. Okay, so what if you don't see up and up? What might be the possible reasons? So let's say if, if you are able to see the interface status as down down, it can be LAN interface or it can be MAN interface, whatever. Any interface it can be if you see down down which means there is some problem there is some connectivity issue or there is some issue so let's try to figure out what are the possible issues so most likely if I see this interface as down down if I'm able to see down and down messages on this so most likely the problem here will be uh, like the remote device is powered off if you power off this particular device in that case you will see down down message that's the one first most likely reason you need to think about and in case if the device is not powered off in that case uh, most likely the other problem will be this remote port is in shutdown state if the remote port is in shutdown state here you'll see down down message because the router is up but the port is in shutdown state okay in that case you'll see down down the next possible thing so what i need to do i need to go to this interface interface s0 by 0 I need to give a command called no shutdown okay and mostly if you realize that these two are not the problems the router is not powered off the router is okay and the port is also okay the interface is up already it is no shutdown then most likely the problem is with the connectivity now the third possible reason you need to check out is with the connectivity so if you have some connectivity issues then also the interface will go down so if it is a WAN connection, you need to contact the service provider to make the link up because it is a WAN connection. We have no control over the WAN because from our router till your modem point, ensure that the connectivity is okay on both the sides. You need to contact the service provider. We need to make sure that the link is up as soon as possible. And if you realize that there is a problem in the LAN, then it's your job to check the cable connected between from router to switch, whether the switch is powered off or not. If it is not powered off, check this port is in shutdown shut or not, or maybe the wrong cable you have connected, or maybe the cable problem. So everything you need to figure out on your own. But at the end, if you have some connectivity issues, if you have some port issues, or if you have device issues, you will see the status message as down and down. And the next status message, we'll see this practically these options. You will see one more kind of status message. You'll see administratively down. Now, whenever you see administratively down, here you can see these ports are administratively down. And whenever you see this message, you have to understand that the port is in shutdown state. Whenever the local port is in shutdown state, again, the local port is in shutdown state, you will see the status message as administratively down. And remember one more thing uh, if I did if you remember I discussed that uh, we will see down down if this particular port is in shutdown state on the local router you will see administratively down but on the opposite side you will see down down 
on the opposite side you'll see down now so that's the difference so on the local port local port you'll see administrator down but on the remote port you'll see down down so don't get confused here i said i said here remote port is in shutdown state you'll see down down if the local port is in shutdown state you'll see administrator down okay so there's one more kind of status message up and down i'll come back to this status message after discussing some wan protocols and some authentication process i'll just come back let's verify this uh, let's verify these three status messages now for the basic verification i'm going to continue with the same uh, routers router 1 router 2 i'm going to create some problems on the router 2 and then i'll verify from the router 1 okay so the first problem i'm going to power off the device so the first problem i'm going to power off the router 2 and then i'll verify and then i'll fix it and the second problem i'm going to shut down the router 2 port shut down is 0 by 0 on the router 2 again i'll fix it and then the third problem no need to remove the cable anyway the third problem is connectivity so we'll try one by one before you do this just go to router 2 and router 1 save your configurations because in between we are in between we are going to uh, power of the devices so ensure that you don't uh, lose your configurations so let's save the configs now let's create a problem i'm going to my design here let's go to router one and power off that particular device now once you power off you'll see the message here status message what you'll see on the router one you'll see the status message down down and to verify this you just go to the router and you can see there is a all uh, red leds in fact you don't see any leds here the router is powered off so just power on the device once you power on the device okay you'll see that after some time the status message come back to up now you can see the status message is up now if i give show ip interface brief and if i try to ping to the other device i'm able to ping and if you see the interface status is up and up so let's create another problem i'll go to router 2 on the router 2 i'm going to shut down the interface so how to shut down you can go to interface s0 by 0 and simply we can use shutdown command int is shortcut for interface s0 by 0 is a shortcut for s0 by 0 so when i do shutdown on the remote router that is on the router 1 i should see what status message down down but on the local router that is on the router 2 what is the status message how can i identify whether the router is in uh, the router is in the port is in shutdown state or not by seeing the status message what's the status message administrator down so what's the solution whenever you see this administrator down the solution is simple just go to the interface and then give no shutdown command so no shutdown command will make the interface back to up again the same thing if you go to router 1 on the router 1 also you'll see the same thing the interface come back to up so finally if you remove the cable also you'll see down down status now this way we can verify these status messages by just creating some basic issues and then there is one more kind of status message you will see up and down up and down you'll see when there is an encapsulation mismatch uh, if there is a mismatch of protocols like there are two protocols on the van we use hdl and ppp i'll get into these protocols in my next uh, in my next videos we'll discuss some more on this if i'm running hdlc protocol on one side if i'm running ppp protocol on the other side of the interface okay if there is a mismatch of protocols then you'll see up and down so more on these protocols i'll come back if there's a mismatch of protocol you will see up and down which means the link is up but the protocol is down mismatch of protocol and also uh, in case if you have lab scenarios if i don't you clock it on the dc interface the other possible issue is let's say this when you're using back-to-back -back cable one side will be dte and the other side will be dce so on the dc interface we need to add a clock rate command if i don't add the clock rate command in that case also you will see this but again this applies only in the lab scenario because in the real production networks we got a real routers which will do the clocking and then in in case of ppp protocol there is something called authentication mismatch like we can configure some password for link security we'll see this more on detail in my next videos anyway if there is a mismatch of password on both the sides 
then also the link will go up and down so more on this practical verification will be getting into this more in detail because before that we need to discuss some some topic on wan protocols which we'll be discussing in our next video uh, and then we'll see some different protocols like hdlc and ppp and then also we use ppp authentication also and we'll come back to these status messages more in detail again in the troubleshooting section